Hi everyone, this is a short video introducing my 10th edition of the Quants uh, book, The Quantitative Aptitude for Cat, uh, which has been published by McGraw-Hill. McGraw-Hill has been somebody who's been a partner with me, not just for my writing career, but also as a student, not just me, my entire generation learned from McGraw-Hill books, whether it was during my plus two courses or during my engineering courses, or when I did my engineering, etc. It's been a privilege to be associated with McGraw-Hill for the last 20 odd years with my books and the multiple editions of my books. And this video is about the 10th edition of the QA for Cat, the Quantity of Aptitude for Cat book, which you are seeing on this page. And a lot of people ask me this question, ki, what is so special about the new editions, etc.? Do we need to go for the new edition or will an old edition do for me? So my only point with respect to that, specifically with respect to people preparing for the CAT exam, is that a CAT exam is something which is a shifting target. It's not something which is kind of uh, fixed and every year that the CAD happens, it adds to the knowledge level that we as trainers and authors have. It also adds to the overall personality of the exam. It keeps changing, it keeps shifting a little bit. And hence, uh, we have a two-year revision cycle. Sometimes we do it every year, but uh, normally we do it in a two-year revision cycle where we actually introduce a new edition every year because otherwise the question banks that we have, which is the main resource inside the book to actually practice and as you know, when you prepare for an exam like CAT, 80% of your learning is actually solving questions and getting exposed to questions. So the main value of my books, apart from the theory, of course, in maths, of course, you, you can't do much in theory because theory is more or less the same. But 80% of the learning is through the question and the quality of questions that you, when you're going through your preparation. And since most of you use my books during the starting phase of your preparation, before you go for mock tests, etc., my advice is always that you should always try to get the most updated question bank for the current CAT. So if you look at, for example, uh, the eighth edition of this book, which was published in 2019, you will see that in that edition, the experiences of CAT 2018 would have been inculcated into the question bank, etc. So every time that I revise a book, what I do is essentially this book or the DIR and logical reasoning books, what I do is I try to align my question banks. On every chapter, I try to look at whether this is the 100 or 150 or 200 questions I want you to solve as my readers, as my students to prepare yourself for the CAT. So which are the 200, 300 questions? If I have an infinite number of questions, then it doesn't matter. I don't need to apply my mind so much in terms of uh, creating an experience. I, I give in everything that I have, all the 500,000 questions per chapter, and then it will make sure that you have the experience of solving almost all kinds of questions. But given the fact that your time is limited, and the time that you've got to prepare and, and practice is limited, the most updated question banks become the most important resource that you have in terms of uh, using it. So if you to buy a new edition, it's always the latest edition that makes sense because it has experiences and inputs from the latest version of the CAD. So this book, I'm just going to share this cover with you here. You can see this, the 10th edition. This is how it looks. And a couple of things about this book. The pull marks is again a feature. The pull marks tests are a feature inside this book, which is quite unique in the sense that we give you access to high quality question banks and high quality testing platform, which allows you to actually practice mock tests. So it's not just during your preparation phase that you use the book, but also to take your, your learning and to understand whether your learning has reached the point where it should. The pull marks tests, which are accessible through the QR code at the top of the book, as are also an important resource that's there in this book for you. One more very new feature which has come across and on the back of the book you can see uh, here, you can see the process of using Triple Max platform is given how you access it and uh, how you actually get the high quality questions and the reporting and the simulated exam environment experience is given on the back of the book. A very important aspect for us authors and the publishing industry in general is the transparency app which is part of the back cover of the book now. And you can see this at the bottom. And this will tell you whether you are buying a genuine product or it's a pirated product. So do make sure. And this is a, a new initiative that Amazon has uh, introduced in association with McGraw-Hill. Do have a look at whether the book you have bought is this genuine or not. And if, in case it's a pirated book, please take the immediate step of returning it, registering a complaint, wherever it is. So that's about it. And one last thing before I wind up here, you can actually use this uh, QR code in order to 
look at my books uh, on Amazon and actually buy them from there. So that's it from my side. And I wish all of you the best of luck and a very strong preparation process as well as a very strong outcome in whatever endeavors you have. And all the best with that. Thank you so much.